All right, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an Among Us character that you can take apart into an Among Us dead body. Okay, now, first of all, I mean, they all have legs, you know? So we'll start off with a cylinder for the leg. Now, I would put little, uh, you know, little spheres at the bottom, but while the legs are stubby, they aren't that, they aren't that round. So I'm going to set the edge to 1.5 to make it not too round and not too stubby, and change the edge steps to 5 to make them have round edges. Let's take a look at this. It looks like a pretty good edge. Now, uh, we will grab a move tool, and we are going to bring that up on the z-axis, the big blue upward one, by about 9. Now, it's just about there. Let's bring it up by 10. There we go. Alright. Now, this will be pretty thick, pretty wide. So let's bring the radius to 5. And decrease that height a little bit. 20. It's a little bit too big, so it'll be 90. I'd say this looks pretty good. We won't be using this whole thing, though. Alright. Now, let's just put that underneath a create object. Name that leg model, because this isn't going to be the end leg. You'll understand later. And we'll toss a create group into there. Now we'll create the actual legs. Type leg in. Rename it to leg. Now we'll add a copy of that leg model. And we will move it to the side on that red axis there. The, uh, the red X axis by 6. We'll duplicate this from the script. We'll have another one by negative 6. Now, execute our code, and we have two little legs. Now, we'll just, you know, the Mamas characters, as we all know, don't have three legs, so we will delete that middle leg. And toss a create group into there. These legs look pretty good. Now to save us some time, I will turn the speed up. So now it looks like a time lapse. Alright. Now let's get on to the actual body. We'll be starting with the lower part of the body, aka the part that's left behind when they die. Grab a tube. And throw it underneath a create new object. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in, or tube first or create object first, so long as a tube or shape ends up underneath a create object. So we need this to lower body. Now, we're going to have to add this a little bit. Radius, a good 11.5, I thought, works very well. And for the wall thickness, we need to turn that down a little bit to 2. Height. We want the height to be 15. And we don't need to worry about edge, edge steps, or sides. You can worry about sides if you want to, but that's one of your things. You do that on your own. Now we'll need to, of course, move this. We will move it up by 
uh, on the Z axis, the blue one, by 23.5. Let's see how that works. Alright, pretty good. Let's make that red like the rest of our Among Us character. Flash it red. And, of course, there's a bottom to this. This has... So we, we will just... Uh, well, first, we've got to fill this in. You know, they aren't hollow inside. Let's throw a darker version of it in there, because this is how actual Among Us dead bodies are. How they work. And we will set the radius to 9.5. Just about, you know, two less than, than this one. Not, not exactly two less, just about. We will set the height to 8, and the rest leaves no modification. We'll toss a move in there, and we'll set that to 24.5. This looks pretty good, just missing the bottom piece, and well, the rest of it. Now we will throw a cylinder into them for the bottom of it. This cylinder will turn it red like the rest of it. And we will need 11.5 of our radius. Same thing as the tube up here. But then, since we can't edit the other, you know, size elements of it. We will throw a scale in there. These two are fine. We want to move this to 0.5, however. And then we'll throw a move command in there. Move on the blue Z axis by 15.5. Let's look how much left we have on our timer. Still have about two minutes left. Here. So, in a little bit, you will have to switch to part two. I will. Uh, now, now, I will rope. No. We just throw a create group in there. And this is our lower body complete. Watch it happen. There. Perfect. And this looks nice. We can move this if we want to see it better. Alright. I guess I will be ending this here. Meet me in part two to find the bone, pack, upper body, and the visor. I made a little mistake here. We don't want 40.5, we want 41.5. Alright, now we should just be able to, uh, Uh, to throw a create group into here. And now, turn this up again. Okay, something's wrong here. Let's try this again. Okay, yes, that idea yeah, that was just a glitch. So, anyways, let's get back to it. Uh, create a new object. 
just in this visor or face. I mean, visor, and if you do the same, it might make it a little bit easier to follow along, but it doesn't really matter. Now, surprisingly enough, even though the visor looks like it's a stretched sphere, it actually works best if you use a cube. I usually like to use this color right here. It just looks the most like, well, a normal visor from among us. Now we need a width of 12, a length of 10, and a height of 10. Then, I know it's a little bit weird, but we're going to need a scale tool. We're going to need to use 1.3. 0.7 and then that last one we can leave at 1. And then we move that we don't need to move the x at all y we need to move negative 10 we can move it forward and the z we need well I found that 23.5 works best for it Oh, my bad. I meant to say 35.5. Alright, now we will... Now, you will just, uh, well... You see, if we just do the visor on its own now you see oh hold on we haven't we haven't made the visor curve yet but it goes down into there and in order to prevent well that and other problems that may arise we'll need to make this a hole and we'll need 11.5 for the radius same as our normal body if you haven't noticed yet and move that up by 23.5 All right, now that that should work, we can put a create group in there. But first of all, we need this thing to actually be curved. So, uh, just set edges to ten. Now, if we just let this play out, we should have a pretty good-looking Among Us character. All right, yeah, as you can see, this visor looks pretty normal, pretty good. Doesn't look as weird as it did before. Uh, now this final part, just a little finishing touch. So we are going to uh, go all the way down. You can also do right click and clean up blocks to organize things a little bit more. Now rename this one to full lower. I like to just get rid of the space in there. I don't know why I do it, but I just do. Alright, now in full lower, we need to. Now, how many parts of this guy are in the bottom part? We have. The legs, so I had a copy for that. We have the bone, we have the actual body part itself, and we have the pack, which is technically part of the lower part. Alright, now we need to put the leg 
white bugs in there. Lower body, like the main torso. The bone. And then the pack. Now we'll do create group here. But this isn't quite the end of this one. Now since we have four of those, we now need four delete objects. <coughs> so just grab those. One, two, three, and bam, a four. And that leg, lower body bone, and pack. When you put all those back in here, it doesn't really matter what order, as long as you get them all in and just, as long as we get these in and just these in. Because if you accidentally include something like a visor, well, it could mess you up. Now we just have bone left to do. And now we've got to do the same thing with the upper body, so... I'm just waiting this one to upper body. By the way, it doesn't really matter what order, which order you do these in, so long as full lower and that full upper uh, all end up below everything else. Accidentally name this. Same thing the other thing was. For this one, we will act. For this kind of mistake, we will actually need to. Oh, not select that. Uh. Throw this one away, you gotta put your cursor on the actual trash can. Rename this to uh, upper body. And then put these back. Now, of course, we will do the exact same thing here. I will catch you right back whenever I'm done with it. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I did all of this. Now, what you want to do for this one is grab a move, and it doesn't really matter what number you put in there, so long as it's in the positives. I like to put about a 20 in there. That was the final result. I hope you're happy with it, and thank you for watching.